Am I the asshole for telling my sister she was out of her mind when she said she wanted to take back my child, whom I adopted from her? My 36 sister, N, 29, got pregnant at 18. I am infertile and knew I couldn't have kids, so when N said she was giving her baby for adoption, I decided to be her mom. N went no contact five months after giving birth. For a bit of background, N got pregnant by a one-night stand and she apparently didn't remember or know the father at the time of birth. But when V was two, a man, T, 35, messaged me on social media claiming to be the father of my child. N had run into him at a club and drunkenly confessed to the pregnancy. We met up, he bonded with his daughter, and, well, that man is now my husband of seven years. Coming back to my sister, she called me yesterday. Although I was surprised at her call, I picked up. We made some small talk, then she said she had just gotten married a year back and both of them wanted children, but couldn't because her husband was infertile but really wanted kids. I asked her if she wanted to adopt and she said she would just need to get her baby back. I was speechless for a few moments before replying that if she wants to meet my child as an aunt, she is welcome to and we both can sit V down and explain the reason for her absence but she just can't ask me to give up my child. She said she'll sue me as she's the birth mother. I told her she was out of her mind and I told her about T. She exploded, calling me names and saying I stole her life. I got too emotional and hung up. T came home from work and on explaining to him, he was beyond furious. I then got a call from my parents saying I was an asshole for telling N she couldn't have her baby. I said I never said that and I welcomed her to bond with V but they refused to listen and said I was being insensitive and harsh and flaunting my family. I now feel bad because me and N were very close as sisters and I feel quite close to her situation since I know the struggles of infertility. T said there was no way he was letting my sister have full time and I agree, but I want to know if I'm the asshole for being too harsh and telling her about T. Just so everyone's aware, I did legally adopt V at birth. T adopted her too after we got married. N never wanted kids and I feel the only reason she wants V now is because her husband wants kids. I don't know, but I think this is it and T agrees. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling an employee she can choose between demotion or termination? I own a vape shop. We're a small business, only 12 employees. One of my employees, Peggy, was supposed to open yesterday. Peggy has recently been promoted to manager after two solid years of work as a cashier. I really thought she could handle the responsibility. So I wake up three hours after the place should be open and I have 22 notifications on the store Facebook page. Customers have been trying to come shop, but the store is closed. Employees are showing up to work, but they're locked out. I call Peggy and get no response. I text her, same thing. So I go in and open the store. An hour before her shift was supposed to be over, she calls me back. I ask her if she's okay and she says she needed to, quote unquote, take a mental health day and do some self-care. I'm still pretty pissed at this point, but I'm trying to be understanding as I know how important mental health can be. So I ask her why she didn't call me as soon as she knew she needed the day off. Her response, I didn't have enough spoons in my drawer for that. Frankly, I don't know what that means, but it seems to me like she's saying she cannot be trusted to handle the responsibility of opening the store in the AM. So I told her that she had two choices. One, go back to her old position with her old pay. Or two, I fire her completely. She's calling me all sorts of quote unquote IST now and says I'm discriminating against her due to her poor mental health and her gender. None of this would have been a problem if she simply took two minutes to call out. I would have gotten up and opened the store on time, 
But this no call, no show shit is not the way to run a successful business. I think I might be the asshole here because I am taking away her promotion over something she really had no control over. But at the same time, she really could have called me. So I leave it to you. Am I the asshole? Update. Am I the asshole for telling an employee she can choose between demotion or termination? Peggy reached out to me yesterday, apologized, and asked if we could meet for lunch. We met up, and the first thing she did was apologize again for the no-call, no-show, and also for her reaction to my response. She admitted that she knows I'm not sexist or ableist. I don't know if I spelled that right. There's a red line under it, so I probably didn't and explained that she was lashing out due to her mental state. I accepted her apology and offered her one of my own, both for giving her too much responsibility too quickly and also for reacting out of emotion. She explained to me that she had a major issue on Monday and without getting into much detail, I'll just say that it was the anniversary of a bad thing. She's taking all of her accumulated PTO, nine weeks, And we've agreed that going forward, I'm not going to put her on the schedule on that day ever again. She's admitted that she's not up for the role of manager. When she returns, she will be the role of lead cashier, a role I created specifically for her. This way, she can keep her raise and not feel like she's getting a demotion, but rather a lateral transfer. I've also let her know that if she ever feels like she's up to more responsibility, she can let me know and I'll put her right back on track for the manager spot. I've also let her know that if she's ever in a position where she's not able to call out, she can simply text me a thumbs down emoji and I will accept that as a notice that she will be missing the next shift. She's agreed that will be okay, even when she's quote unquote out of spoons. Hopefully, we can both move forward from this unfortunate incident and end up better for it. Am I the asshole for not letting my son use the family ring to propose with? My son, 26 male, wants to use my mom's ring to propose to his girlfriend, 24 female. He apparently told her he would propose with it without telling me, assuming I would let him. I told him I won't let him use the ring for the engagement, only the wedding, and only after she signs a legal agreement saying the ring is to be returned to the family in the event of a divorce. He is furious because he says having that agreement makes it look look like I think they are going to divorce. I admit I think there's a good chance of that. They broke up in 2019 and got back together again after seven months, and they got into a massive fight at least once a month. If he wants to marry her, that's fine, but I don't want my mom's ring, which she got from her great aunt, leaving the family. He doesn't want to tell her because it will make it look like he's worried about their marriage won't be long-term and wants to use the ring to demonstrate that he's serious, but I don't want him to give her the ring until the wedding so she doesn't run off with it if things do go bad. I'm not sure of the value of the ring, but it's got a five carat ruby and multiple diamonds. So I'm assuming it's over $10,000 in value. So am I the asshole for not letting my son use the family ring to propose with? Let me know in the comments.